Hi there. I'm going to just talk about asset management when it comes to events and festivals. And I'm going to look at an annual festival and just map out how the one return on investment for the event, which is the money side of it, actually changes as the years go by. In my experience, most, most uh, council areas have a wine and food festival of some kind all around the world, actually, like just about all around the world. The point here is that sometimes it makes money and sometimes it doesn't make money. So just have a look at the return on investment in terms of money. We could say in the first year, as you well know, it probably lost money. And that's just the nature of local festivals. And then what happens in the second year, probably lost less money. Okay, and by year number three, it's actually starting to break even. Why? Because each year you learn things. You learn how much money to charge the vendors, you're starting to get sponsors involved, and of course people won't get involved at the very beginning, they want to see how it goes first. So, by year four, it's actually doing quite well. Five, even better, probably stays constant for a while, and then suddenly drops. In one year, it suddenly makes no money. Now that could be for a variety of reasons. Now, at this point, the council, people in the council, are going to say we should get rid of it. But the problem here is that you've actually expended a lot of energy getting all of this together. And if you get rid of it, you're basically lost, what you might call a lot of intellectual property, a lot of goodwill. And I'll show that on another graph, because there's actually three graphs we're going to do describing the return on investment for an event. It's not just about money, that's the point of it, you see. Because if it was just about money, you'd be possibly wanting to delete it at that year when it made a loss. And then the next year, because you made a loss, people put a lot more energy into it. They learned a lot more about uh, the event. And then the next year, they got other sponsors and it made money again. Now, no one can predict this, but just because you have a loss doesn't mean that's the end of the event. And the only way to view this is not by event by event or festival by festival or each year, is to look at it as an asset over time. And that's how asset management, that's what it's about. It's about over time. Now, that's the Wine and Food Festival. Let's have a look at another one. Let's say it's the, um, say, Concert in the Park. That's quite common. Concerts in the Park. These happen quite a lot, as we all know, in council areas. So, let's say the first year went really well. You made money. Let's say the next year went well again. A lot of people came. They loved it the first year. And it kept going, tailed off to an equal amount, and then one year it just dropped and lost money. Now this happens a lot, believe me. It's a volatile industry. It's uncertain. But in an uncertain industry, you take a longitudinal view. You look at it over a period of time, not just at that point in time, because the next year, because of that loss, you may well make profit for the rest of its life. At some point, you're going to get rid of it, which is also part of the asset management. So, if you look at festivals and you map all the festivals and events to something like this over a longitudinal, over the longitudinal, over time, then you'll actually find that these things are enormously beneficial. But just looking at the money side of it is not good enough because that's only one return on investment. I'll show you the other two return on investments in the next video.